Hello everyone, welcome to Second Math Hub, a solution to your math problems. Uh, still working on Ghana teacher lands function exams. Subject area is numeracy. The year is uh, 2022. Question number 15. A contingent of 75 athletes has 15 more boys than girls. If a leader is to be selected from the contingent, what is the probability that a girl is selected? So clearly this question is a combination of uh, algebra and probability. And to calculate the probability of selecting a girl, as we learned some time past, it is given by the formula number of girls divided by total number of uh, athletes. In this case, the number of girls divided by total number of athletes. That will give us the probability of selecting a girl. So with this, it means that we need to go and calculate for the number of girls in the contingent. So let's start with the solution. So the total number of athletes in the contingent is 75. Now, we are also told that we have two categories of athletes. We have boys and girls. So we have boys and girls. And how do they relate? We were told that there are 15 more boys than girls. There are 15 more boys than girls. So meaning that the number of boys here uh, is more than the number of girls. The number of boys is more than the number of girls. So how do we represent this algebraically? So straight away, let's represent the number of girls with a variable. So let's see n. So let's say the number of girls is n. So how then do we write uh, 15 more boys than girls? So it means that there are 15 more than the number of girls. There are 15 more boys than the number of girls. It makes sense. It makes sense. Why are we adding 15 to the number of girls? So let's, let's take this scenario. Let's say in a classroom situation, in your class, you have, let's say, We are comparing the number of boys to the number of girls. So let's say in your class we have um, 10 girls in your class. Let's say we have 10 girls in your class. And we have to find the number of boys. But you gave me a clue that there are five more boys than girls in the class. You gave me the number of girls to be 10. And the clue was that there are five more boys than girls in the class. So how many boys are in the class? So it means that there are 15 boys. There are 15 boys. So how did I get the 15? So I added 5 to the number of girls. So I added 5 to the number of girls. That makes it 5 more boys than girls. And that will give me 15. That will give me 15. So using the same idea, using the same idea, there are 15 more boys than girls. It means that I have to add 15 to the number of girls. So that's the reason why we added the 15. Now, with this, how do we calculate the number of girls in the contingent? How do we calculate the number of girls? So, in total, there are 75 athletes. And these athletes, we have two categories, boys and girls. And this is the expression for girls. This is the expression for boys in terms of their number. So it means that when we add the number of boys to the number of girls, that should give us the total number of athletes in the contingent. So with this, we can easily set up our equation. Number of boys, which is n plus 15, plus number of girls must be equal to the total number 75 so let's solve for n so 
So n plus n. That should give me 2n. Plus 15 is equal to 75. So we can still group like terms. So 2n is equal to 75. Then we transpose the 15. It becomes minus 15. So 2n is equal to 75 minus 15. That should give us 60. That should give us 60. And since we are looking for n, which represents the number of girls, we need to divide both sides by 2. So that gives us 60 divided by 2. And then 60 divided by 2. That is 30. So it means that in this contingent, there are 30 girls in the contingent. There are 30 girls. So if there are 30 girls, how then do we calculate the probability of selecting a girl? So the probability of selecting a girl is equal to number of girls. So initially, we represented the number of girls with n. And we are getting n to be 30. So probability of selecting a girl is equal to number of girls divided by the total number. In this case, 75. And since we are getting a fraction, 30 out of 75, we said that any time we are working with, with fractions, our final answer must always be in the lowest or simplest form. And the last time I told you that during the exams, calculators will be allowed. Calculators will be allowed. So we can easily use a calculator to reduce 30 out of 75. So let's key in 30 out of 75 into the calculator's memory. And press the equal sign. So I am having two out of five. Two out of five. So with this, the probability of selecting a girl as a leader is two out of five. So the right answer is B. Thanks for watching.